Welcome back to BeamNG Drive, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Now, you guys may recognize this Tundra TRD Pro by Frog. You may also recognize Frog's wheel and tire pack and the axles and suspension underneath this truck by Nix, which I showed in a previous video. But in this one, we're not necessarily taking this thing, you know, on your typical off-road trails or anything like that. Instead, we've enabled traffic. Now, we're out here on the Utah Extra map for our traffic jam challenge or our traffic jam survival challenge let's say and essentially what we need to do is we need to drop down onto this road right here and make it to the other end of the highway in the oncoming lanes with somewhat considerable speed someone's honking their horn down there but with somewhat considerable speed without completely crashing out now i'm sure this will result in some uh moderately ridiculous crash scenarios and without any further ado let's fire this thing up and see how this goes on our first run got this thing fully set up and ready to go and let's drop in oh god Oh, it's already sketch. All right, let's drop down onto the oncoming lanes and see what we can do. Why are you facing the opposite direction? There's been a lot of... Oh, God. I actually bumped the other... Uh, bumped that vehicle there. I'm trying to, like, avoid small bumps like that because that stuff can literally, like... Me it can mess up your... Oh, God. Oh, they appeared out of nowhere. Holy crap. No. Well, that's off to a good start. I didn't even barely stay in the oncoming lanes where I was supposed to be. All right, so let's try this again, shall we? Let's try this again and try to not completely ruin it on our first go. All right, let's see. Where are you going? Oh, God. Bro, we've got cars facing the wrong way on the oncoming lane. We've got, like, random cars that are driving off the side of the road. Uh, what are you doing, bud? Okay, I need to pay attention to where I'm going, because if not, I'm going to be mush. Oh, that was way too close. Easy. Oh, no, 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 no. I kind of love the oncoming lane a little bit. You turned into me! Oh, God, stop. 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 Don't know. I was on the brakes. I was genuinely trying to save it from rolling over the edge. Oh, dude, we were actually a lot closer that time. I genuinely think we can get this challenge. I just don't want to, like, mess it up halfway through by flying off the side of the road or something silly like that. Oh, my God. Um, the entire road's blocked, so I'm going to sneak around you guys. Come on! Let's go! Not bad, holding 100. Well, actually, like, about 120. All right, I'm going to try to keep it around 100-ish. There's a 240 right there. Don't hit the ramp, because if you hit the ramp, things are going to get wild. The fact that we're doing this in an off-road truck instead of a road car is definitely a little bit of an addition to the sketch. I don't know where all the traffic is, though. This has been a very easy run of it so far. Oh, I spoke too soon on that one. Aha! This counts as road, right? Road is road. Oh, God. I dove into the pull-off, like, right at the perfect moment. Oh, no. Can I fit? Barely. Ooh, come on. Well, oh, God. Good news. We made it to the tunnel. That's a big step in the right direction. The only issue now is if literally anything comes at us while we're in the tunnel, we're going to be in big trouble because we have basically nowhere to go. I hope this tunnel ends soon. Because if it doesn't end soon, we are once again going to be in big trouble. My brakes are fading out. Turn? Maybe? Oh, God, I'm low on fuel as well. I can see light. I don't know how far away it is, but I can see light. Bro, that temperature gauge is literally a reflection of my throttle. Look at it climb the second I hold the power down. And keep in mind, we have a race radiator in this truck. How long is this tunnel going to go on for? I legitimately see light, but I don't know if it's just a, like, I don't know if it's just a distant, like, texture, or if it's actually going to be there, or if I'm just getting to the edge of the map. I mean, I feel like, oh god, the light disappeared. Stop! Okay, the light disappeared. I hit the wall, and the light disappeared. Well, this is a, this is a lovely turn of events, isn't it? Because, ooh, there's the edge. Oh my god. 
Um, it's fine. It's fine. We're all fine. We've got a little bit of... <gasps> Where are you going? Get out of my... You... Bruh! What? It still runs. It still runs, I think. Yep, it still runs. Okay. They legitimately turned into me. They, they just pointed themselves at me and turned. The engine still gets up and goes. I mean, it's got a fair amount of power. I'm just like, how in the, oh, I see what it does. It wraps around. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh, it got my bedside. It's still drivable. They're like legitimately all swerving towards me. This thing, it, the alignment is all messed up on it now. And so it's very hard to control. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no. Oh, not that rock! Can I still steer? I mean, kind of, but here's the thing. My axle is... What are you doing? They followed me out here. They followed me out here and were like, I'm gonna just finish him off. Bonk. What are you doing? <laughs> what? What the heck are you doing? It, they literally followed me out there and were like, yep, we're just gonna go ahead and finish the job for you real quick. Yo, all right, let's see if we can get one more time all the way down to the other end with zero damage whatsoever. I'm gonna sneak around y'all, no worries there, and hit it. I don't know if we need like, you know, some cr even crazier radiator or if we need fans or what we need to keep this thing cool, but sheesh. Doing pretty good now. Oh God, oh, they appeared out of nowhere. Oh, oh. The body's gone. <laughs> it's a nice uh, engine and transmission you got there. Nice bed as well. Are you gonna stop? I mean, I'd probably stop too if I saw a, you know, a truck with just a bed and no, no cab, no nothing. Look at that supercharger, though, and those King Shocks, man. They look sick. Um, it's a little bit, like, it's a little bit iffy right now. But I think in order to finish this off, because we beat this truck up so much doing this traffic challenge, I do want to drive down to the other end because, wait a minute. Is that mud down there? Oh, I want to try that out. I have a feeling that, like, I'm totally okay with, like, letting this thing go into some mud. Now that I've just beat it up entirely with all of this stuff, let's see. AI will be stopped. AI will be... Oh, God. Chase me. Follow me. Let's not. Uh, traffic and remove all traffic. That should be the probably the best thing that we could do at the moment. Uh, is it going to take... Qu oh, it's, like, legit done. Oh, Wow, that took a lot less time than I expected it to take. All right, let's let this thing uh, take a run through the mud real quick. Well, maybe one or two runs now because we've beat it up a whole bunch with that traffic challenge. The traffic challenge can get ridiculous, though. Like, the more you do it, the more difficult it ends up being. Easy. Oh, I love this. It's like a, um, like a little rally road. That's so sick. That swamp, though, is probably really bad. Like, really nasty. Are you kidding me? Bruh. Okay. Easy. Let me go ahead and put the lockers back on. I wonder how it'll do through here in high. We're gonna have to kick the clutch and send it. Oh, this is bad. Wow, that's nasty. It wanted to flip. Holy crap. Although it is actually getting through that a whole lot better than I thought it would. Although it's getting hot, like it's heating up real fast. I'm gonna go into a higher gear. Oh, nope, 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 oh God, I stalled it out in the mud. Okay, let's try to avoid doing that. High clutch temperature? Yeah, you don't say with some of these gear ratios, you don't say, come on. Mess up the fender a bit, let's go. I mean, we made it out, but I don't really think we made it out very, uh, very cleanly. 
Oh my god, that's freaking great. I will say, if you guys have not had the chance to try out Utah Extra yet, it's an absolutely incredible map, and not only because it takes the original Utah map and brings it to basically, like, even greater levels, but what it really does do is it takes all that personality from the original Utah map and just turns it up. Man, that water will really slow you down. It'll really, really slow you down. Flex moment, maybe? Low range. You can still let the clutch out in low range and it'll just crawl in first gear. I love that. The gear ratios are indeed short enough to do that. Yo, that looks so good. That looks so sick. I love that. And then you can just ease it right back down. So good. So freaking good. I absolutely love that. But if you guys enjoyed that traffic challenge with a little bit of, I guess, bonus off-roading at the end, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.